terms of the, the team, the preparation this year, we've done a build-up of uh, you know heavy fitness initially, and then the, the focus has shifted to more gameplay, more high-intensity intervals, and now it's really making sure the players are game fit. This camp, Jill really wanted to try and mimic some of, of the the kind of pattern of the World Cup in terms of a game, two, uh, three or four days, maybe it's travel, another game. So, you know, we started off in LA, then we've trained for a week. We've then traveled up to San Jose, which again is not too indifferent to what they might do in the World Cup. So again, the players are used to, you know, packing light, travel, get there, train straight away, train, play a game and travel on. We're going to be here, there and everywhere with this World Cup and um, you know it's part of our job just kind of being able to adapt to any condition and, and you know pick up and just be able to focus on game day and I think that this camp is helping to prepare us to do that. Well that's the greatest part is that we are trying to, to mimic exactly what we're going to have to do in Canada. Seven games in a short amount of time is very hard to do and so we have to really know how to take care of our bodies. Ice bathing is, is really important for recovery. It's not the most pleasant thing in the world but we do, do everything we can do to be ready for tomorrow. There's so many things that I wish I knew when I was your age. I've learned that you have to give 100% every single day. There's seven games and the way that I train is not to just be good for a couple games. My body is ready to go, if need be, for seven games straight. But I think there's something about this World Cup. There's so much media coverage, there's so much hype. We are drawing in so many fans. We've got, I think, 20,000 some tickets sold here in LA. We had 18 last game, we had 35,000 in St. Louis. If we win this thing, it can just blow up women's soccer. And I think that that's just really empowering and all eyes are on us, we know that we have pressure, and I think that I'm just really looking forward to the journey. I've worked so incredibly hard um, to, to get here, and for this being my third World Cup, it was a bronze, it was a silver, and hopefully third time's a charm will be the gold.